like to thank everybody for coming tonight. We've helped raise a fantastic amount of money for a fantastic charity, and that's the Sir Bobby Robson Foundation. Steve is a, a, an ambassador and a patron of the charity. It, it goes without saying that Sir Bobby was, it was held in the most fantastic regard, um, not just in the North East, but throughout, uh, throughout the world, certainly throughout English football. Um, and I'd like to just say on behalf of the Football Writers Association, thank you very much indeed for helping to raise a lot of money for the charity. Kick off. Andy, talk us about you know playing in that kind of passionate sort of atmosphere. You know, Andy's talking about a Merseyside derby, but a, you know a northeast derby in particular. For, you know, from somebody from the area, what's it? What's it like getting? Do you get caught up in that atmosphere? Do you have to divorce yourself away from it? I think it? if you, if you get caught up in it, I think it'll be to your detriment. I think it, it used to say, going into a derby, you need. Um, I have to get this right now. Fire and ice. I can't remember which way around it was. Um, you know, fire in your belly and, and ice in your head because, you know, we've seen too many times people who get caught up and get sent off and ultimately cost their team. But um, Newcastle, some of the ones tended to be boring one each rather than 3-3 <laughs> three, three with end to end <laughs> chances like that. But, um, I mean, Andy referred to it there. We, ha we, last year at St James's Park, had a lot of, I still say we, don't I? Um, <laughs> had a lot of foreigners came in in January who the derby maybe came a little bit too soon for them. They hadn't quite got the club at that yeah. point and to lose 3-0 at home at, at St James's Park was a bit of a wake-up call and I think Newcastle has seen the, the fruits of it now that they've really settled in and despite losing again the other week at Sunderland. Uh, you can't help but uh, I always thought the away derbies were easier to play in because there was less pressure on you. I, I always felt under more pressure at St James's because you've got 52,000 there who were you know, desperate's probably an understatement for you to win. Whereas when you go away to the stadium, like you've got, what's it, 48,000 or whatever, being for your blood. And if you've got anything about you, when you go out there, you think, you know, I'm going to spoil your day. Yeah. <laughs> rather, than, <laughs> rather than wanting to spoil your own fans' day, you want to go out there and, and, and make it. So you can't, you can't help but get caught up in it. But the best players keep their cool.